Enough of mainstream shit like downloading and vending sevenfold. Today we are back to black metal and we're talking about the best black metal albums of 1996. I've been going through the years of black metal since 1990 and we're on to 96 now, which is a big year because I got my top 10 here, but also a massive selection of honorable mentions as well. So let's quickly go through them and of course, as always, down below, pop your favourite black metal albums of this year in the comments so I can See what you guys like, and maybe there's an album that I've never heard before that I can check out. So, honorable mention time. The first one is a big one, Nemesis Divinia by Satyricon. Big album. The next one, Far Away From The Sun by Sacramentum, classic melodic black. Thy Dying Light by Judas Iscariot, great stuff. Antichrist by Gorgoroth, Secret of the Black Arts by Dark Funeral. Kvist for Kunsten, that great album, underrated that one. And of course, Starfire Burning upon the Icy Throne of Ultima Thule was such a mouthful, that one. But it's such a fantastic album by Balsa Gelf. <clears throat> Amazing band. So that's just the honourable mentions. Let's get in with my actual list of my favourite albums from 1996. Starting with Welcome to My Last Chapter by Vinterland. This album is just so beautiful. It's a very beautiful album and the melodies within just seep into my soul. Every time I listen to it, it takes me on a journey. Every time. And it's such a moving journey as well. It's probably one of the best um, melodic black metal albums with a lot of atmosphere in of all time. Love the purple of the album cover. I don't know why, I just love it. And the um, the text of the Vinterland at the top. This is probably one of the best Black metal albums around, and I adore it, so it's 100% making it onto this list. Next up is in the streams of the Inferno by Mysticum. This album is just such a breath of fresh air, mixing with the industrial side with the fun black metal, and it's just such a blast to listen to. Planet Satan's great as well. This one's probably my favourite, is the debut. A lot of energy, a lot of hype, a lot of just... You want to jump around while listening to this album, but it still retains the heaviness or still retains the kind of black metal soul that you come to expect from a classic album. And yeah, mixes together really well. Thoroughly enjoy this one. Next up is Opus 4 by Abigor. My favourite Abigor album because it has more of a cosmic edge than some of the others. Um, I do like Natchmen. I don't know how to actually say it. Uh, you know the one I mean. Natchminen. I never know how to say it. But yeah, they have a lot of good albums, Abigor do, Channeling the Quintessence. Um, the latest one was fantastic too, but Opus 4 has always been my favourite. Just harnesses the stars into black metal form, and I love it for that. So, you know, like my spacey stuff, Opus 4 is coming here. Next up is Arcturus, Asperaheim Symphonia. Speaking of spacey stuff, this is another kind of cosmic black metal band, um, kind of avant-garde as well. Not so much on this album, but everything after this, they do kind of just ham it up, and it's great to see. I did see them this year live, and it was so fun. Uh, I wish they played more off this album, though, but this is more of a traditional black metal album with a bit of avant-garde splashes in there and a bit of a cosmic edge. It doesn't quite have as many clean singing as the later albums do, but... I just think it works so well. I, I, I adore this album. It's probably my second favourite. Um, probably my second favourite by the whole band. But that's not saying it's bad, because it's still a fantastic band. They, every album they've got is good. And this one's in my top 10 of 96, because it's just that good. So if you like some cosmic black metal with a bit of an operatic edge and a bit of uh, showmanship, then check this album out. Next up is Raven Dusk by Diabolical Masquerade. Speaking of a bit of a... Um, showmanship, uh, this album is symphonic black metal to a T, and it's perfected. Like, Don't Walk Masquerade is such a great band for this kind of theatrical black metal. Not overblown, not as crazy as, say, like, Arcturus, later Arcturus, or as crazy as um, Karak Angren. It's nothing like that. It doesn't have the cheese factory. It just has solid, good symphonic black metal melodies in and the screaming is amazing, and it's just a band I haven't really mentioned on the channel. So, yeah, I'm glad to put it here in this list. Just like Moon in the Scorpio by Limbonic Art, another symphonic black metal band, again, similar to uh, Raven Dusk, but a bit more 
beauty within, I'd say. Uh, this album is definitely my favourite by the band. It has so many beautiful melodies within every single song. It just takes you into the moon with this album, and it's one everyone should check out. Lunar Poetry is next. Oh, I love Lunar Poetry by Nocturnal Mortem. This is, it is an EP, but it's also album length. It's like an hour long, so I'm, I'm counting it anyway, because this it did get re-released as an album as well re- recently, like remastered and stuff. So icy cold. So good, the riffs, the melodies, the screams, the atmosphere, the atmosphere in here, because this is atmospheric black, it's just so good. You do feel like you're in, like, pff, a lunar wasteland. It does feel like there's a snowstorm when you're in the forest hiding from it. So amazing, one of my favourite albums of all time, and it's here. Dusk and Her Embrace by Cradle of Filth, of course, one of the best Cradle of Filth albums. Uh, it's my second favourite behind Cruelty and the Beast. Uh, you can't go wrong with any song on this album. Every song on this album slaps. The title track especially being one of my favourite songs the band has ever done. Dusk and her embrace. So good. The band that got me into Black Metal. So, yeah. Give them some credit. Dusk and her embrace. Very good. Philosophum. Gotta mention Burzum. Gotta mention Philosophum on this list. I can't not. It was the um, album that brought me in to proper Black Metal. After Cruelty and Beast and after uh, Midian and uh, albums like that, I then checked out Burzum. So it was Cradle of Filth into Burzum, into the rest of Black Metal. So this is like one of my gateway bands, and this album was a gateway album. I loved it. I loved the harsh nature of it. I loved the rawness of it all. I loved the the screams, very raspy screams by Varg. Love it to pieces. Uh, it's one of the greatest albums ever made. Maybe not the best Burzum album. But it's still the most iconic, so it's here. Last but not least, an album by Blue House Nord, Memory of a Tooster One, Fathers of the Icy Age. This album is so good. If you like Atmospheric Black, you should know who Blue House Nord is, and you should have most of their works. Because they do like to change it up a bit. They have a lot of atmospheric albums, like the Memory of a Tooster albums, and also Hallucinogen, and the newest one, Disharmonium. But then they got some industrial stuff. Um, they like to mix it up a lot. This is in the atmospheric side of things. So if you like anything like that, give this a listen because it's one of the best around. So that's my list for 1996. What albums have I missed off? Probably shitloads. I think I missed off Bethlehem's one as well. But yeah, there's loads of albums I've missed off. So pop down below what's your favourite of 96. And we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.